amazing images for every single scene for your Dungeons and Dragons adventures. So let's go, let's see what kind of character we get. Welcome to the worlds of Dungeons and Dragons, let's craft your character. We're rolling some values here, like very strong. Given these scores, a barbarian would suit you well, utilizing your strength and constitution. Yeah, that's cool, and rolling your, your background. We are a barbarian outlander with weapons, a great axe, a hand axe, javelins, stuff like this. And we have a campaign in the treacherous Frost Peak Mountains. A blizzard has ravaged the land, leaving you stranded and alone. Your goal is to survive the harsh conditions and find your way back to civilization. So now we just put this into the GPT prompt optimizer and let's see what text we get. A human barbarian stands resolutely in the midst of a fierce blizzard in the Frost Peak Mountains. The barbarian has a muscular build and is clad with rugged hide armor. Put this one-to-one -one into stable diffusion where I already put oil painting style in front of there. But you can choose any style of your liking. And in stable diffusion 3 it's very cool that you don't need negative prompts anymore. A thing of the past but if you have sometimes like like arms or legs and you only want to show the face then it's, it's good like this. Okay so this is our image for our first scene. I really like it. This is our barbarian and we are in the Frost Peak Mountains. Very good fit. We have our howling wind hitting our face. I think it's a really good fit for the first scene. Now we're going for the next scene and I hope that we get a great image there as well. What do you want to do? What is my mission? Your goal is to survive the harsh conditions. My goal is survival. Okay, that's new. I never had like a survival mission in Dungeons and Dragons yet. Look around. Is there a cave or is there a slope to go down the mountain? No, just hope that we get a great option for our image prompt. So your keen eyes scan the surroundings searching for any sign of shelter or a way out of this blinding blizzard. You manage to spot a faint outline in the distance. It appears to be a dark opening in the mountainside, possibly a cave. Okay, that doesn't seem to be an obvious path downhill. The snow covered slopes are sleep, steep and treacherous. So now we copy this again and put this into our amazing image prompt optimizer. Awesome. Okay, so this looks exactly like the first barbarian that we we had with even the same kind of axe and the weapons in the back backpack he's now looking to find this cave i noticed that it's funny sometimes if you put oil painting style it learns from oil paintings and in the bottom right corner you have this signature of a random artist <laughs> that's really funny okay so we're in this howling wind and trying to get to this cave now i'll just go with a you cautiously enter the cave your eyes adjusting to the dim light. The cave is surprisingly spacious with a high ceiling and rough uneven walls. And that's really lucky. Like inside of those Frostpunk mountains, we found an amazing cave. Yeah, the assistant is speaking here again. Rolling for investigation. As you examine the cave, you notice a few interesting details. There are some scattered bones on the floor, likely the remains of animals that sought here. You also spot a small pile of dry leaves and twigs in the corners, suggesting that this cave has been used as a temporary refuge before. That's cool. Okay, so we can now put this description one to one into our image prompt optimizer and we're just taking out the role of investigation as this has nothing to do with the image you make your way to the cave okay so this is part of it so maybe we should do two different descriptions this time like here we should just Take this part. Awesome. Okay, now we're in front of this cave opening. We made it step by step. We fought our way through this howling blizzard. That's amazing. And the old painting style is still viable. And now we're going to create the second image of this scene where we enter the cave. Okay, so a human barbarian cautiously enters the cave. So it's amazing that it always uses the description of this character and still doesn't lose track of this. Remain the image style as oil painting and it's done already it's really quick and now we're inside of this cave is he looking forward or backwards i think he's looking backwards like this okay there are these scattered bones i cannot believe how good i personally think this works i promise i swear to god this is my first try on my own image prompt optimizer and i will give you this image prompt optimizer in my description it's amazing i i love it and we're going to go 
deeper into this cave maybe or make a fire i don't know if we're able to make a fire if we can if we can warm up venture deeper into the cave it's funny how it sometimes gives you options sometimes it doesn't which makes it really immersive like sometimes it's so obvious that you don't really have to think about it so it gives you options sometimes it doesn't it's cool you cautiously venture deeper into the cave the darkness closing in around you after a few minutes of walking the cave opens up into a larger chamber the ceiling is higher the walls are adorned with strange formations of glistening eyes as you examine the chamber you notice a faint glimmer in the distance i think this one could be used for a cool image and the other one is just yeah us walking deeper into this cave we just copy this again and paste it as an oil painting style to remain consistent here. And I love stable diffusion, like it's plain stable diffusion and it just gives me these really, really cool images. And it's already done, it's really quick. Ooh, okay, now we're inside this opening and we see this, yeah, it's a real opening, like even even light from outside is coming in. It's, it's like a cracked, cracked open cave and we're walking towards this bright spot in the distance that's very cool i like it i love the image it gives me even a better feeling and again we have this funny signature in the bottom right corner yeah that's really hilarious all right i hope that you're still with me and you enjoy this journey like i do i i just cannot stop venturing and creating those images so follow the passageway search the chamber for anything of use that, like didn't look like there's much of use return to the cave entrance i would like to follow the passageway i think there's something yeah shimmering the glimmering light beacons you forward, promising something of interest or perhaps even danger. Roll per for perception. As you make your way through the passageway, you notice that the floor is becoming increasingly slippery. You take extra care. After a few minutes of careful progress, the passageway opens up into another chamber. This one is smaller. Okay, up to here, we're going to create an image. So maybe it gives me a slippery image this time. A slippery floor, sorry about that. Like slippery could be ice, I guess. Makes sense. So a human barbarian cautiously approaches a narrow passageway. Great X held at the ready. Glimmer and light beacons. Okay, let's go and copy this one to one again into Stable Diffusion 3. And it's cool that you can just put this whole story in there and it's it's just creating an image out of it. It's amazing. Okay, so this is our slippery path throughout this icy cave. And now we're almost there. We are almost in the second room. I, I can feel it. I can grasp this this bright light passageway opens up in another chamber but it's filled with soft and warm light the light is coming from a large crystal i think it's amazing that it gives me this role for investigation or perception just to give me more food for my image prompts that's very kind of you gemini i don't even have to read out the the story i can just use the image to tell the story for me i feel like how is it for you guys do you experience the same feeling it's more of like an image driven story what the story tells us is not that important anymore because the images are just so cool you know what i mean like this this movie is created inside of your head where you just walk step by step towards this relic or this this crystal inside of this ice cave and you don't really care for the for the text of gemini anymore because it's so easy that's amazing okay so there was a large crystal like i said I didn't read this, I just put this one-to-one -one into the image and it just created the perfect image for us. The crystal is pulsing with a soft rhythmic glow and it seems to be emanating a gentle warmth. That is good for us because we are frozen. We're frozen. Even though we are a barbarian with like those big muscles warming us, but still, you cannot survive the cold for too long. What do you want to do? That's a good question. I think we're going to take our axe and take a swing at the crystal, right? We want something with motion, maybe. I feel like Stable Diffusion has problems with this. I just can imagine that, yeah, images of backgrounds and persons and characters are great and items but not maybe a swinging motion so i swing my axe at the crystal trying to break it now we can even see if this gives us a success immediately or if this fails or if this 
does some dice rolls. I don't know. Let's see. There must be a strength check, maybe? Rolling for attack and damage with a mighty roar. You swing your cracked axe at the crystal, the blade whistling through the air. The axe strikes the crystal with a resounding crack, but the blow fails to shatter it completely. Instead, a large chunk of the crystal breaks off, revealing a hollow cavity within. Okay, this is amazing. Sends shards of crystal flying, some of which embed themselves in your exposed skin, causing minor cuts. You lose one health point. Okay, so now we have the orb. Okay, there's an orb inside that we open up. What we just going to take this first part as a first scene and see if we can get a motion this time. We get a cool image prompt that I think we could use. It's a bit more detailed than what this original information brought with it, but it has all of the backstory, so it can give us some more details. And I'm really curious on what kind of image we get. Maybe this one will suck. I just tell you before it's generated. I like it. It's not the yellow crystal anymore, but other than that, we have the crystal shattering. We have this bleeding. I think there is some there's some blood on 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 the skin of the barbarian and there's some shattering crystals here and I can even run this again and maybe see if we get a better image this time. Yeah, this one is even better. This has the feeling and yeah, you see that all of this shattering glass of this crystal is like damaging us. We we're, we're having some wounds here and it looks like more he's punching into this crystal more like hitting it with an axe. This was better in the previous image, but I like the emotions in his face and the screaming out and the, the shattering of the crystal is even better here. So I, I would stick with this image. This, 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 this is a cool image. Amazing. As the dust settles, you peer into the hollow cavity and a glowing orb. So we're just going to get really quick this image. Awesome. Now we got this orb out of this crystal and we have some, some wounds here and there. But more or less, we survive. We just took one damage. And we're going to continue our journey with this orb and see what it does. What do you do? I grab the orb and walk towards the cave entrance. I want to utilize the orb's heat to help me through the blizzard. So this is my idea now, so that we can use this warm orb at our side and just take this warmth like a fire inside of our hands and take it with us to civilization. As you reach for the orb, it warms and envelops your hands, spreading a comforting heat throughout your body. Yeah, that's a perfect item that we need right now. I know what you guys are going to say, like, what are the odds? Yes. The journey back is slow and cautious. The slippery passageway proves to be even more treacherous and on the return trip and you have to rely on your great X for balance. Okay, so we're going to have this one as scene one. So you see that it's fairly easy and quick to do. And just copy this and get another great oil painting here. Okay, so now we grab this and walk back to the entrance of the cave and you say, see that images say more than a thousand words. There's this saying and I think it's true, like we can use this images more than than the text and we just go for the second scene the journey back oh you slip and fall oh my god okay okay that's just one damage okay we're just going to put this in and see if this dynamic falling down is generated and by the way i like that we fail sometimes like we couldn't break this whole rock this whole crystal and now we're falling inside of this cave because we knew that when we came in it's slippery and by walking outside we noticed that it's yeah it is still slippery in there so i guess that this part the slippery passageway and the falling is important for our image and we're going to prevent that it's like a conflict so we're just going to have to rely on your great X for balance. We're going to delete this because we're falling in the end, you know? So we're just going to send this. And I really like how he remembered that this passageway was slippery, like on the way in and on the way out. I'm very curious. It's already done again. Oh, okay. Now we we still have the orb in our hands. I didn't expect this, that, that the orb is still in our right hand. And yeah, the falling is, is very good depicted because it's a mixture of walking to the entrance and falling down. Yeah, I love this image. I think it's perfect. What do you guys think? And now we lose one hit point. Eventually you emerge from the cave. 
the orb's warmth radiating through your clothing. The blizzard rages on, but the orb's heat provides a welcome buffer. I think we can get civilization safe with this amazing orb. On oh, the orb's effect, the orb warmth helps you keep warm, but it doesn't completely negate the effects. You can still feel the cold. Okay, so the dice roll wasn't the best. The wind continues to whip at your face. Cool. So we now got our image prompt really quick again, just copying this into Stable Diffusion 3. I'm curious what kind of image we get. It's always like a little bit of gambling with Stable Diffusion because it's, it's a diffusion model. Okay, we have our orb. It's just floating now in front of us. And still, you see that we, we are still fighting this, this blizzard, but we're getting some support from this orb, some warmth inside of this blizzard. What do you do? We hurry towards the nearest path or slope to climb down the mountain and get back to civilization. Let's see. Oh, rolling for survival. Clutching the orb tightly, you, f you steel yourself against the biting wind and trudge through the snow. Your instincts guide you towards a less steep slope. Yeah, exactly what I wanted before. Barely visible. It's a risky descent, but the orb's warmth gives you the confidence. Okay, I hope that we had a good roll. You never know because somehow Gemini doesn't tell me what kind of rolls I get. It's differing from day to day. Sometimes they tell me you rolled at 11. This was not enough. Sometimes Sometimes they just set, tell you rolling and then the result. He slips and slides using his great X as an anchor to prevent himself from tumbling down the slope. This is a really difficult image. Yeah, he has to put those, this X on the ground for giving it balance. And it also has to keep track of the orb. I think it's good enough, the image, even though he's not holding the X. And I think this is one of the most difficult parts, the interaction between the arm, the X and the ground. You know, there's now another part in there for stable diffusion. It's really difficult. You lose the footing again. Oh no. Like, dude, the sharp ice crystals cutting into your exposed skin. Your hit points are now 9. Despite the injuries and harsh conditions, you can continue to your descent. Okay, we're not depicting another image where I fall down. Just take this one again. Rolling for survival. After what seems like an eternity, you reach the base of the mountain. The blizzard rages on, but the terrain is less treacherous here. You can see a faint outline in the distance, possibly a structure of some kind. Awesome. Just, we need to get there. So hurry up and try to reach the structure. So I'm curious, what kind of structure is it? Is it a house? Is it a ruins of some kind? Like, what the hell? Oh my god. Gemini just completely forgot that it is a Dungeons and Dragons assistance and gave me a Google Maps description. Um, hurry up. Okay, I I need to stay in character. I, the barbarian, hurry up and try to reach the structure. That is so funny. I think JetGPT never would have done this. Never. Like, what the hell? I think there is some kind of trigger in there just giving me, like, how can I get back into Dungeons and Dragons? Okay, no more Google Maps. With renewed determination, you push yourself forward. The combination of the freezing and your previous injuries and this descent takes it all on your body. You stumble and fall again. Like seriously, can, can it stop letting me fall down? Like what the hell? The pain is intense, but you grit your teeth and force yourself on your feet. You can see the outline more clearly now. It's a small cabin nestled among a cluster of snow covered trees. I just take another look, look around. I just want a more in-depth description on what is there. Okay, this is really easy just when you say look around and it gives you a perfect description on what is around you, how this cabin looks like, stuff like this. Weathered but sturdy with a faint wisp of smoke curling from its chimney. Yeah, that's good. I think we almost made our survival back to civilization a success. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about 10 seconds. That's amazing. Ooh, what a great image. I love it. It's old, rusty, sturdy, rocket. I don't know the right adjectives. And there is this <laughs> signature again. I am wondering who, who paints all of these images. Now we're with our orb, which is still glowing and still guiding our way. We made it back to civilization. Now we just have to hope that there's something in there not like a hostile enemy. And then I think we did it. Knock on the door. You raise your fist and knock firmly on the wooden door as the sound of the knock echoes through the silence, followed by the sound of shuffling footsteps from within. 
the door creaks open. Amazing figure stands in the doorway, silhouetted. It's a tall, gaunt man with a long, unkept beard and piercing blue eyes. He wears a thick fur coat and carries a hunting rifle in his hand. Who goes there, he asks. Okay, he has a hunting rifle. So this is not so much of a fantasy, I think, because now he has a weapon. Dangerous. I think knocking on the door and the door opening is again like two contrasting uh, events. So we need to distinguish here. We're going to give it only the part where the door is already opened. And this could be one of the first times where we have two characters in the same image. I'm really curious on how this will work out because again, this is something that Stable Diffusion used to struggle with. Okay, so now he put the Barbarian and the Gaunt Man into a single person. So I'm lucky that up to now we only got one Barbarian in the middle of nowhere in the survival, so he couldn't mix up those images. And yeah, he will always give me an image similar to this one. I hope that it will improve in the, in the future. Who goes there? I'm a worn Barbarian and I have this orb that helped me survive the blizzard. In exchange for it, will you let me in and give me shelter and food? So I just want to see if it can also give us like the interior of this this house. The man hesitates, then cautiously reaches out and takes the orb. As soon as his fingers touch the surface, his eyes widen in surprise. He closes his eyes and seems to concentrate. I've never felt anything like it. He gestures me to enter. Come in, stranger. You've earned your shelter and food. The man lets you into the cabin. The warmth of the fire washes over you and you feel a wave of relief. You are safe for now. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the final two images of this scene. And I think we made it. We survived. There's no more. What do you want to do next? And I just copied this first part. And I'm curious on how we are going to see this orb transferred from the barbarian to the person, even though I think still that it will mix the two persons into one again. Okay, now we have this transfer of the orb and those two very similar twins <laughs> exchanging this orb. Well, that's funny. I still like the image could be could be worse and i'm just going to take the last two parts for this happy end of the story i'm finally a happy end i mean we did not die this time even though i would know that it's very well capable of doing so we noticed in the last few trials and i highly recommend for you to give them a watch the man leads the human barbarian into the cabin closing the door behind him that's a good description I like it. And um, let's go for this final scene. I'm really curious. Awesome. Okay, now we're inside of this house with the fireplace. It looks like it's sometime, somehow it's outside and inside is a little bit mixed up. I'm happy with how this orb is here. Both characters are inside and the fireplace is warm. I'm happy with the image. I love it. It gives me some immersion and the oil painting style was the perfect choice for this. Maybe you can do with 3D style or anime style in the next videos. I hope to see you soon and you enjoyed. Bye-bye.